Now run your upper back, gazing towards your belly, and lift the belly away from the mat. Twice more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. The inhale, neutralize your spine. As you exhale, you're going to keep the knees under the hips. Just walk the hands forward, come into the puppy pose. So as you're doing that, some of you may benefit from putting a block under the forehead. And stretch your arms forward at the same time, grounding down through your palms. Wrap the outer arms down. Tilt your pelvis up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, inhale. Bring the hands back to the center. Then from here, step the right foot forward between your hands. Bend your right knee forward so the right inner knee is extending forward, rise up into low lunge. Arms overhead. Good. From here, catch the left wrist with your right hand. So inhale, extend your arms skywards and exhale, bend towards your right. So we're getting into the left side body and hip flexor, but keep the hips just over the left knee. Take one more breath. Roll the left shoulder back. Inhale back to center, arms overhead. Exhale, left hand down. Then reach the right arm up and back. From there, option to bend your left knee and reach the right hand towards your left foot and keep the left shin bone back to roll the right shoulder back and away and soften the left shoulder back as well. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, release the hands down. Step the right foot back, right knee back, stay back into child pose. Inhale, roll forward into all fours. And exhale, sit back into child pose. Twice more, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale back into all fours. Let's step the left foot forward between the hands. Inhale, arms overhead. And then draw the belly away from the left thigh. Good. And then catch the hold of your left wrist with your uh, right wrist with your left hand. Then inhale, lean towards your left. And exhale, breathe into your belly. And just notice the sensation on the right side. Can you roll the right shoulder back a little bit? Can you bring the right hip back a little bit? So you're getting the stretch right into the hip flexor. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead. Next, I'll bring the right hand down. Then bend your right knee. Reach left hand toward the right foot. And then kick the right shin back to help you roll the left shoulder back, to help you broaden across your chest. And then soften the right shoulder away from the ear as well. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, bring the right 
foot down, left knee down, sit back into child pose one more time. This time, stretch your right arm under the left. Turn the gaze towards your left. Again, some of you may benefit from placing a block under the right ear. So just getting into your stretch on the right side. Extend your right hand forward, back into child pose, and stretch your left arm under the right. Turn the gaze towards your left fingers. And breathe. Good, extend your left hand forward. And from here, we're coming into plank pose. Extend your left foot, right foot back into plank pose. Right away, find the strong core, lift the belly away from that. Find the strength in your arms, push the arm away from you, draw the shoulder away from the ears, and then extend your heels, both heel back. From here, maybe hover the right foot just one inch off the mat. Extend your right toes back. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, extend your left foot straight back. And exhale, bring it down. Take deep inhale here. And exhale, down top. Hmm. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, roll forward into plank pose. And exhale, down top. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, roll forward into plank pose and exhale, bend your elbows slowly lower all the way down. Extend your feet back, hands under the shoulders, roll the shoulders away from the ears, extend your, um, draw the elbows back, inhale, come into cobra pose. And exhale, release. Inhale. One more time. And exhale. Third time, inhale. See if you can lift yourself up a little bit more. At the same time, hover your hands just one or two inches off the mat. Keep the feet down, then extend your arms straight back. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Extend your arms straight back. Squeeze the shoulder blades in towards each other. Lift the chest up and forward. Then maybe hover your feet, breathe in, and breathe out all the way down. Good, hands on the shoulders, tuck your feet under, inhale, up into plank pose. And exhale, down dog. Breathe in, and breathe. From here, step your feet forward towards the top of the mat, come into a full fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. Good. Bend your knees, inhale, come into chair pose. Reach the arm around the forward. Again, can you soften the neck? Can you bend your knees down a little bit more? Inhale, reach up. Extend your spine up. Exhale, hands towards each other. Samastiti. Release the hands down. And close your eyes. And just notice the difference, the shift in your mind, in your body.
and concentrate on the breath in and out through your nose. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, hinge on hips, fold, fold. We're going to do two rounds of half sun salutation. Inhale, hands on the shoulders. Elongate your spine forward and exhale, fold. Root your right, circle arms around the up. And exhale. Bring the hands down. Extend your arms down. Let's do this one more time, moving with your own breath. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms around and root your eyes. Exhale, hands towards each other. Okay, let's come back to the mat. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step your foot, feet back one at a time. Come back in plank pose. Take a deep inhale in plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come into cobra pose. And exhale, down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, reach your leg up and back. Right leg up and back. Exhale, square up your hips. So extend your right foot up and back as you Move the left thigh back away from away from the face. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, knee towards your nose. Round your upper back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee towards your right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step the right foot forward between your hands. Come into worry one. Bring the left foot down. So keep the feet um, about hip width apart. Inhale, root your rise. Come into worry one. So with a little bit width between the feet gives our pelvis more stability and and uh, space to turn the left side body forward while join the right side body back and drive the left thigh back as well interlace your fingers behind your back inhale here extend your arms straight and exhale come into humble warrior you have the option to stay halfway or bring the right um shoulder on your right thigh or toward the inside of your right knee. Find stability first before you go further. As you lean forward, can you drive the left thigh back even more? Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, you're going to come into halfway. Then roll onto the pinky edge, the bow mount, excuse me, of your left foot. You're going to slowly lean forward, maybe float your left foot up, coming into worry three. You drive the right thigh back, turn the left outer thigh down to square off your hips. Good, then bend your right knee, bring the left foot forward to meet your right. Inhale, come into chair pose. Exhale, draw the palms towards each other. And then inhale, you come into a twist. Left elbow towards the right thigh. Draw the palms towards each other. 
Turn the torso towards your right. Extend your left side body forward. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale back into chair pose. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step your feet back one at a time. Back into plank pose as you inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, this time maybe upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee towards your nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee towards your left elbow. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot forward between your hand. Spin the right heel down. Bend your left knee forward. Then inhale, come up into worry one. Turn the right side body forward as you roll the left thigh back. Belly lifting away from the front thigh, arms reaching up. Then interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale here. Exhale, humble warrior. And right away, breathe. Drive the right thigh back as you bow forward. Shake out your head. Notice if you're holding any tension in your jaws, in your neck. Let all that go. Good. Inhale, come into halfway. Roll onto the ball mount of your right foot. Then you're going to lunge it forward. Oops. Coming into your worry three. The side might be different from the first side, so just be okay with that. Turn the right inner side up to help you square off the hips. Reaching the right toe straight back as you reach the crown of your head forward. Then bend your left knee, right foot to meet your left. Inhale back into chair pose. Exhale, draw the palms towards each other. Inhale here. And exhale, twist towards the left. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, back into chair pose. Exhale, fold. Okay, this time turn the toes out, heels in, and squat it down into Manasana. Draw the palms towards each other. And just breathe here. Inhale, you're going to open your arms, turn your side, turn your side towards your left. Exhale, back to the center. Inhale, turn your side towards your right. And exhale, back to the center. Good, inhale, you're going to rise back up. And then exhale, fold. Inhale halfway and exhale, step your feet back. Coming into your plank pose. Then exhale, lower down. Inhale. And exhale, down dog. From down dog, you're going to lower the forearm down one time. 
We're coming into dog and pose. So in dog and pose, your forearms are parallel to each other. If you have a block at home, one way to uh, increase stability is by uh, bring the palms toward the, the shorter edges of your block, and then keep the elbows about shoulder width apart like this. And then you're going to come into dog and pose. Push forward down with your forearms. Dry the shoulders back away from the ears. Free up your neck. And bring your feet forward one at a time. Inhale. May lift the right leg up and back. And exhale, stay here. Lower the right foot down. The inhale. Lift the left leg up and back. And exhale, stay here. Lower the left foot down. Then lower the knees down, come into child pose. Extend your arms forward. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, come back up into downward facing dog. Okay, inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Good, exhale, knee towards your nose. Inhale, extend. Add some knee towards your left elbow. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, step the foot forward between the hands. Good. Spin the heels down, back into where you want. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, draw the palms towards each other. We're lunging into worry three one more time. Inhale. Virabhadrasana three, worry three. As you exhale, you're going to lower the hands all the way down. Some of you, if you have blocks at home, you can bring two blocks under the shoulders to give you more st stability. So this also allows you to uh, really square the hips forward, actually downward. Okay. We can lower the block down if that works for you. But from here, we'll come into re revolved a uh, half moon. So left hand on your left shoulder, right hand onto the hips. Keep the hips squared, then turn the heart, the torso towards your right. Inhale, reach the arms skywards. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale here. And exhale, right hand down, left foot forward, back into chair pose. Good, then bring the Left, uh, right hand under the left, left elbow on top of the right. Then bring the right foot, right leg in front of the left, come into the eagle. So you're essentially wrapping right leg, wrap in front of the left, the left, the right foot is behind your shin. A deep inhale here. And exhale, option to fold forward. Inhale, back to center, reach the arms up, 
and extend your legs forward. Exhale, lower it down. Back at the top of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, you're going to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plunge your hands down. Step the feet back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee towards your nose. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, knee towards your right elbow. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Spin the right heel down. Worry one, one more time. Reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the palms towards each other. Launching forward, back into worry three. But we're not going to hold worry three for much longer. Release the hands down, find your blocks. The shoulders over the hands, hands on the block. Square your hips. Notice this, uh, this is, uh, I'm rolling my hips towards your right. Rather, can you lower the right hip down, turn the right inner thigh up to square off your hips. The right hand under the right shoulder on the block, left hand on the hips. Then turn yourself towards the right. Inhale, maybe add your arms. Come into revolved half moon. Kick the right heel back. Extend your right side body forward. Then exhale, let it go. Inhale, back into chair pose. And exhale, bring the uh, left elbow be be below your right, so right elbow on top. Wrap the left foot, left leg in front of the right. Maybe tuck the left foot behind your right shin. Inhale here. And exhale, bow forward. Come into the eagle position. Inhale, rise back up, reach the arms overhead. Then extend your leg forward. Lower it down. Exhale, hands towards each other. Samastiti. Very good. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, you're going to lower the hips all the way down onto the mat. We're going to stretch our, our hips. So we're going to come into um, pigeon pose. The right shin in front. Bend your right knee as you extend your left leg straight back. Some of you again may benefit from bring a block under the right hip. So if you have knee issue, I recommend you to lie down and bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh and then hug the left knee in towards your chest. So there are a lot of variation here. Choose one that give you just right amount stretch in your outer thigh, our hip, without compromising your joints, especially your knee. Hands, inhale, and exhale. Create a pillow with your hands under the forehead.
Slow down the breath. Again, anchor your mind to your breath. Inhale, rise up. And bring the left leg forward. Bring the right foot towards your left inner thigh. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, fold towards your left shoulder. Come into Janusha Sasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Switch side. Pigeon pose on the left side. Again, choose a variation that works for you. It's your own practice. So again, if you need something under the left hip, especially if the left hip is way high up, you're going to put a block. Block could be a nice bolster. Or if you have blanket, you can also put a blanket under the left hip. Or just lie down on your back. Find a threatening needle pose. And inhale here. Exhale, fold. Make yourself comfortable. So that you can just drop in. Drop in into the stillness. Inhale, rise up. Then bring the right leg forward. Extend your right leg forward. Left foot towards the right inner thigh. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, bow towards your right straight leg. Inhale, one more time. And exhale, fold. Inhale, back up, then find yourself back in a seated position. Bring the palms on the laps and just drop the shoulders. Pull down through your sit bones while also growing the spine up. Draw the palms towards each other. Thank you for sharing the practice with me today. Namaste, yogis.
Thank you, everyone. 好的，谢谢 Serena 老师。谢谢谢舞友们一直还陪伴着我，我们，我现在开麦，呃，大家欢迎跟 Serena 老师交流，你们自己可以 unmute 就可以自由发言了，谢谢大家，谢谢丽君，谢谢大家，谢谢老师，晚安，谢谢谢谢各位，拜拜。Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend.